With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students, let's start the question. Consider the reversible isothermal expansion of an ideal gas in a closed system at two different temperatures T1 and T2. It has been given that T1 is less than T2. The correct graphical depiction of the dependence of work done W on the final volume V is. Okay, fine. So basically in this case as you can see all of the graphs given over here are flashing mod of W on the y-axis. Okay, so mod of W means whether it's positive or negative, it doesn't make a difference since they have put it in into uh, the mod uh, format. So definitely in that case, we are concerned with as to what would be the dependence of this work done on the final volume. So whether it is the work done by the gas on the system or by the system on the gas. Okay, fine. So as stated in the question, it's a reversible isothermal expansion yes okay now when it said that it's an it's a reversible isothermal expansion of the ideal gas the mathematical expression would be w is equal to minus nrt ln v2 by v1 okay n is the number of moles r will be the universal gas constant and t is the temperature it's an isothermal plot yeah V2 and V1. V2 is final volume, V1 is initial volume. So let us put it in the mod mode. Yes. So over here, we would be putting it up as V final VF by V initial VI. Okay, fine. Now, final is going to be on your x axis as stated. Yes. So let us expand this expression. Yeah. So it's going to be. W is equal to minus NRT ln VF minus ln VI. Yes, okay. What is it? Oh, I'm sorry. You have, we had to put out this minus because it has become mod now. Yeah. So now, this is going to be NRT ln F minus ln VI. Yes. Since mod was there, that is the reason we have erased off the minus negative sign over here. Please understand that. Yeah. Now, furthermore, as we expand this, we are going to have NRT ln VF minus NRT ln initial volume VI. Yes. So, accordingly, if we go to compare it with the straight line equation, it is going to show us that on the y axis we have w yes on the on the x axis we have final volume the slope is nrt and see that the y intercept is a negative value okay negative or obviously nrt cannot be negative yes so ln vi yeah so in that case uh, the plot should actually be in this manner that when you plot your t1 and t2, t1 is less than t2. So it should be going in the downward axis. Okay. So even though if it is over here, then on extrapolation, we can observe that it would be touching the value right over there. Yes. On extrapolation, we can see it's it, it would be over here. Yes. Okay. So please remember that, that. On extrapolation, we are going to observe the particular values, okay, or the particular intercepts which are being plotted in the options given over there. Yes. So let me just rub this off and draw it again because there was a little bit confusion. So let me draw it once again. Here is your final volume. Yes, here is mode of work, and the temperatures would supposedly if they are put up over here yes so definitely on extrapolation on the downward direction 
you would be able to see that the values values would be in negative okay fine so accordingly we would be analyzing our plots given so the first one shows us that it has on extrapolation it t i mean sorry t2 value is actually being extrapolated in the negative axis but t1 is on the positive which is really not possible so my first option is not the correct depiction the second option shows us a slight extrapolation okay which is meeting up the zero value okay so that is again not a perfect depiction in the option number 3 or c the extrapolation occurs to be yes coinciding with the negative axis t1 is a little uh, what you could say nearer to zero but not totally into zero so we can say that option number 3 would be the perfect depiction because it is showing us a negative value on the downward axis yes t1 and t2 in your option number 4 is totally not matching with our equation yes so that means option number 3 would be the perfect depiction for our question today yes so on extrapolation you got to check out even if t1 was a little bit lower on this side then definitely it would coincide with a more negative value okay this is actually coinciding but it would be very very nearer to zero in this case okay now since this is not a graph page so definitely we can't see the value but yes it is definitely going to be a little nearer to zero and hence it is uh, appearing to be zero but it is not yeah so option number 3 would be a perfect depiction for the plot i hope you understood the explanation yes on understanding the explanation you will be able to make the plot yeah thank you very much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today